one final application of uh, intentional circular references uh, within Excel is to solve uh, simultaneous equations. Uh, last we covered recursive equations, which had x on both sides. Uh, here we have simultaneous equations, which is when you have multiple equations and multiple unknowns. Uh, you could often use linear algebra uh, to solve uh, when you have n equations and n unknowns. Uh, but uh, here we have two equations. Uh, let's say we have two equations in this case, and we want to uh, find a solution for uh, the two unknowns x and y. Uh, to give an example, let's say we have the following two equations. We have x squared plus y squared is equal to 1. That's the unit circle. And we might also have um, an equation representing uh, a line. Uh, we might have uh, you, you might see it in terms of y equals mx plus b. Uh, here we could write it in terms of um, 2x plus 4y is equal to 0. And we're trying to find a value of x and y that satisfies both equations. If we find such, uh, a, such an equation, uh, a, a, such a solution, so that would be where uh, this line and this, uh, this unit circle happen to intersect um, the x and y coordinates. Presumably it would intersect at two positions, but we're just trying to find one solution here. Uh, so the trick that he suggests in the book, um, and you could presumably apply it to more uh, equations with more unknowns than just two, but uh, a simple example here. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to get one of the equations in terms of x on the left-hand side of the equal sign, and the other one we'll get in terms of y. And that way we'll be, ha we'll be able to have an equation with all of the, uh, each unique um, unknown on one side of the, e uh, of the equal sign. Uh, and then, uh, so this is going to be uh, uh, rewritten in terms of x, and this is going to be rewritten in terms of y. And then this is over here, a1 is going to be x, and a2 is going to be y, and they're going to refer to one another. Uh, and then we'll use this iteration uh, in circular references in order to come to some kind of uh, approximate solution here. Okay, so let's say we have x squared plus y squared equals 1. So let's get x on one side. How do we do that? Well, uh, we have the 1 on this side. We would uh, subtract y squared from both sides, so we get 1 minus y squared. And then we take the square root of both sides, such that we could get rid of this to the second power, get rid of the exponent, and uh, by taking the square root over here, and we take the square root on the other side. So effectively, that is, x is equal to the square root of uh, 1 minus y squared. That's the first equation, just rewritten in terms of x. And the second equation, we will rewrite in terms of y. So uh, here we have 0 on this side. Uh, we, want y on, uh, we want y on one side, so we'll take away 2x from both sides. So that's going to give us 4y is equal to negative 2x. And then we'll divide both sides by 4. So that's going to give us that y is equal to negative 2x divided by 4, which is uh, really, you could uh, just write it in terms of negative x over 2. Uh, that might simplify things. So just divide uh, both the top and the bottom of this, uh, of this fraction by 2. So we'll just write it as uh, y is equal to negative x divided by 2. Uh, okay, so this is just for comment purposes. We didn't actually uh, write the equations now. But now, this over here, this a1 is going to be x, and this a2 is going to be y. So for a, we'll just say uh, a1 is equal to the square root of 1 minus y, not, but instead of y, we can't say y, but y, remember, is a2, so we'll click on a2 the second power. And parentheses, press enter. 
And so right now we got one. Uh, remember we have uh, iteration. We we have uh, calculations turned to manual instead of automatic. So it's only going to calculate one, it cl calculate it once I press F9. I also have the iterations have to do a hundred times in a row. So um, that's uh, that's also going to be fine. I'm not going to have to press F9 multiple times to get some kind of good approximation. Um, and then in terms of this bottom equation, so y is equal to negative x, x is a1, divided by 2. And here I got for the first value, uh, negative 0 0.5, because remember, uh, it's just going to take that first value that it has there in a1 and calculate it. So that's negative 1 divided by 2 is going to give 0.5. But now we're going to start doing the iteration. I'm about to press the F9 key, and it's going to iterate up to 100 times or when, or until there's uh, no more change, uh, or the change is uh, low enough uh, that it doesn't uh, affect the threshold that we set. We press F9, and we get 0 0.89418001 as the value of x, and the value of y is... 0 0.447159001. And we can keep on uh, trying to calculate, keep on iterating, I'll press F9 again, and you see it's changing, that was another 100 times, and um, we're getting, uh, we're slowly converging this uh, to, until we got to this number and this number. Um, just for the purpose of calculating it, I'm going to copy these two numbers here, and I'd like to make use of them, so I'm going to paste special of the values of x and y just to confirm that this calculation is good. So I'm going to choose edit, paste special, and I'm only going to paste the values. I say OK. So now I just have these two values here that I calculated. Let's confirm. So this over here is x and this over here is y. Let's see if this first formula here is actually true. So um, we'll just rewrite this formula over here, and wherever we see x, I'll talk about uh, a4, wherever I see y, I'll talk about um, uh, a, uh, I'll, I'll talk about uh, a5. Or in fact, to make things a little bit easier, I'm going to use the name box for each of these. So over here, this specific cell, a4, I'm going to call that x, okay, now that's x in the name box, and this cell over here, I'm going to call y. So now I could use x and y in my formula, and it's going to be referring to dollar sign a, dollar sign 4, in other words, this specific absolute reference to a4, and uh, y will refer to uh, a5 as an absolute reference. So now let's just take these formulas. Let's just copy this formula, and I'll say over here, equals and I'll paste the rest of, oh, it doesn't let me paste it, so I'll now just type it, equals x, x now refers to the specific cell, x to the second power, plus y, y refers to this a5, uh, to second power, um, and I could then actually say equals 1, and it'll say true or false, but let's just, we'll press enter here, and see what it gives us. In fact, it gives us a 1, which it was supposed to calculate. See, it's equal to 1. And similarly, we could say equals 2 times x plus um, 4 times y. And I'll press enter. Now, this is a negative number. Uh, this is the, the y, and you see it ends up being 0. So, in fact, we found good solutions for this uh, set of uh, simultaneous uh, equations.